a bear story. And remember to like, share, and subscribe. Let's get started. Once upon a time, there were three bears. They lived together in the middle of the forest. One of the bears was an eeny, meeny, tiny little bear. The second was a middle-sized bear. The third was a gigantic, huge bear. The three bears ate homemade porridge every morning. The little bear ate out of a little bowl. The middle-sized bear ate out of a middle-sized bowl. And the big bear ate out of a, out of a gigantic bowl. The bears each had their own chair. Naturally, the little bear had a little chair, and the middle-sized bear had a medium-sized chair. The gigantic chair was for the gigantic bear. They all slept in their own bed. The little bear slept in a little bed. The medium bear slept in a medium bed, and the big bear had an enormous bed. Enormous. Ooh. One day they were making their porch in the morning. They poured it into their bowl, bowls and went into the forest. This way the porch could cool off during their morning walk. Okay. While the bears were out walking, a little old woman came to the house of the bears. She peeked inside through the keyhole carefully. She opened the front door and peeked inside. There she saw three bowls with porch on the table. This made her hungry. First, she tasted the porch of the giant bear, but it was too hot. The porch of the medium bear was cold. Ew! The porch of the little bear was just right. She ate the entire bowl of porridge. The woman sat down in the chair of the big bear, but it was way too big for her. The chair of the middle-sized bear was too soft. The chair of the little bear was just right. She happily wiggled in it until she suddenly fell through the seats. <laughs> She's too heavy. It just broke it. The old woman then found the bedrooms with three beds. The big bed was way too big and the medium bed as well. But the bed of the little bear was just right. So she laid down and it was so comfortable that she fell into a deep sleep. In the meantime, the bears returned home. The big bear saw a spoon in his porridge and said, Who touched my porridge? And the medium bear also saw a spoon in her bowl and said, Who touched my porridge? And the, no, the little bear saw that her porridge has been, had been completely eaten and said, Who ate my porridge? The bears looked around and saw that someone had been sitting in their chairs. Who sat in my chair? asked the big bear. Who sat in my chair? said the medium bear. The seat of the little chair was on the ground and the little bear looked at it and yelled, Who broke my chair?
And the three bears went to the bedroom and saw that all the beds had been used. And that a little woman was sleeping in the bed of the little bear. The big bear roared, Who laid in my beard? The medium-sized bear yelled, Somebody also laid in my bed! The little bear yelled, There's someone in my bed! The old woman was so startled by the voice of the little bear that she jumped out of the window and ran. The woman had heard the voice of the big bear, but because she slept so deeply, she thought it was the wind or thunder. The voice of the medium bear made her think that she heard someone talking in her dream. It was the sharp, shrill voice of the little bear that woke her up. When she saw the three bears on one side of the bed, she tumbled out of bed on the other side and jumped out of the window and ran away. The bears never saw her again. Thank you for listening, everybody. So, bye! And remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next time.